We've all seen that trend of becoming that girl on social media, the girl that wakes up early, drinks water, has a morning routine, the girl that eats healthy food, drinks green juice, exercises. Self-care is super important for this girl. Organization and journaling is key. But does this girl read the word of God? Does she read the Bible? Does she meditate on the word of God? Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to another video. I am sure that we've all seen the becoming that girl trend it started in 2021 not anything new but for me i thought me being a christian and me trying to build my faith or grow my faith i thought there was something like missing because most of the videos i've watched do not include becoming that christian girl and that is my aim i want to grow my faith like i said on my previous video because for me without god nothing else is possible and so i hope you enjoy i've been waking up 5 a.m five days a week and that is between 5 a.m and 5 30 and so in this video i will show you pretty much how my day looks like but one thing i came to realize is that i do not commit so much time during the day after i wake up to thank god and to practice gratitude so this is something i am intentionally trying to incorporate during the day so kindly watch the video to the end so you can see moments and times that i am praying or being grateful and such things this routine here is more of my weekend routine because monday to friday i've got totally different routine which will be my next video after this one so here i'm just preparing my breakfast because i'm planning to do some exercises after i pray and so i make my breakfast and then make my way to go and spend some time with God. Praying is something I've done for quite a long time, but I haven't been reading the Bible, like proper Bible in the morning. So this is something I'm practicing every day, Monday to Sunday. And so I'm hoping and praying that the Holy Spirit will guide me and be able to commit to this every day, pray and just be grateful for a new day because we've got so many reasons to praise God. I've run out of fruits. I'll be going shopping later, but because I need some energy, I'll be doing my exercise later. I'm just going to have banana with my muesli. I actually do like it this way. So yeah, you don't have to have chia seeds and all these fancy fruits for you to have a better or create a better routine. But sometimes if I have chia seeds and other blueberries, I like blueberries and raspberries. But for today, I do not have, and that's how it's gonna be. So I'm just gonna make my coffee now. For my coffee, I love the Taylor's coffee bags, Ross 6. Um, it's not because the video is sponsored, it's not a sponsored, but this is my absolute favorite uh, coffee bags. I do use MS coffee bags, but I find that this is, you know, this is what I really enjoy. And with my coffee, I call it African coffee. I don't know why. But this is how I make my coffee. So I fill up the water halfway or sometimes three quarter if it's in the evening. I drink a lot of milk. Um, I don't really care what they say about milk. And you see our milk is nice and creamy. So I fill the other half with milk. In goes my coffee bag from Taylor. So I might spill this. And I've got my favorite pot as well for my coffee. So I just fill that in. It's built. And just boil that the point here is to become that girl you don't really have to have a fancy coffee machine or feel like you have to use specific things or have to go and spend money to buy a coffee machine or whatever no you just use what you use if you normally have like 10 cups you can reduce that to nine cups with time and unfortunately with my coffee i do have some sugar uh, so it's a large coffee. I like to have one and a half teaspoon of sugar because I really enjoy my coffee And this is something I don't really I'm not ready to give up because yeah I can give up other things, but I just like to have some little sugar with my coffee When it's not raining and it's not winter, I like to sit outside and enjoy my breakfast. And this is also another practice. I'm sitting here and looking around and thanking God for his creation and thanking God for giving me breakfast and things like that. So this is something I'm intentionally now trying to do. It's kind of gray and I'm just going to be going grocery shopping and my laundry is outside. So I'm just going to leave it there and hope for the best. I've just finished my breakfast and I'm going to be heading to town. Today's a Monday. Like you saw, I didn't have a lot of like fruits 
to add on to my muesli so i'm heading now to town get a few things for today because that girl is about eating healthy because even the bible says that our body is god's temple and that we should you know nourish our body with good stuff so that is what i'm heading to you know to town to get we normally get our delivery tomorrow tuesday morning fridge is almost empty so i need to go and get some avocados and what i'm gonna have after my exercise and that is exactly what we are getting ready to do so i've changed my top i normally don't feel like comfortable walking around in town with you know showing my stomach but yeah some people do and if that's you then that's for you the other thing i wanted to say is becoming that girl doesn't mean that you have to have the best clothing or go and shop or things like that this is my shoe <laughs> if i showed you you'll be you know you'll be shocked anyway i've worn my canvas shoe for quite a long time and i still wear it and i probably need to get some glue but yeah me wanting to become that girl doesn't mean that i have to go and spend money buying new shoes they're serving me i'm a kind of business owner and i use them a lot at my shop because they're pretty comfortable they've served me so so well this shoe is about almost five years old and i'm still wearing it uh, but but uh, but but yeah you can see it's like torn and the other one is the same so don't feel like pressured to become that girl you have to have a new closet you don't feel like you have to buy new stuff to change yourself from within old stuff do if you can afford to buy new workout gear and things like that then go for it what i'm aiming for is building my inner self outward self will come i'm so blessed i've got enough clothing and nice things and i know some people will be put off by seeing all these nice girls showing the best expensive you know workout gear things to wear so you say you cannot afford that life no you don't have to afford things to become that girl you're looking to become so my shoelaces are done i'm just gonna head out to town get some few stuff here and there and then we go out with simba oh she had yes yeah, she counts yes yeah, she counts did you hear your name being named called yeah did i say go for walkies anytime you say that word you're a clever dog aren't you you clever dog you clever dog okay up you go get up Oh, I, I don't know if I should get my laundry inside because it's pretty dark. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it there. I can spin dry it if it gets rained on. And so, Simba in the kitchen. Simba kitchen. Yeah, we tend to leave Simba in the kitchen. So she's going to be lying there waiting for mommy to come back. Today is my day off. So it's my wash hair day. That's why it's like that it's gonna look better later tonight so just gonna grab my phone my wallet and off we go usually i don't post usually i don't post but i want the world to know so i've just come back from shopping let me let me show you what we got for today let me show you quickly what I got for our grocery mini shop because like I said we get more shopping tomorrow we don't get mangoes so I found this lovely mangoes we love mangoes and my son really loves mangoes so we've got two of them we've got British pak choy this is for dinner today so this is my husband's favorite sandwich he loves prawns so he's gonna have this sandwich for tomorrow and my son loves chicken wrap so I got him fajita chicken wrap that is also for tomorrow they are running out of kitchen foil so I got this one from MS. some cucumber for my salad later I got some Italian salad which I really really love and we also got our pineapple because we don't have any pineapple left I don't think it's ripe as I like it to be but it will do the job so this is for our green smoothie later we are having salmon broccoli and pak choy 
lots of greens so we got the tender stem broccoli broccoli from mnx bigger pack better value that's what they say ripe avocados for my salad for later and also got i went to a different grocery shop and then i got this one and i've added another you know italian salad on top of that so this is baby salad leaves one of your five a day and yeah we do love this salmon fillet from mns so it's five of them we're gonna have three i mean one each i haven't had crest for a long time i really love eggs and crest so oh salad and crest as well so i got that tiny one from the same grocery shop like that one and i got some blueberries for my breakfast because i didn't have any blueberries today and i didn't want to go shopping at that time so i got lots of blueberries salad lettuce we have what other things from holland and barrett and they used to have this german bread i don't know how you call it but i really loved it and they didn't have it today so i found this ever fresh 100 percent sprouted wheat bread it's plain and simple they say it's organic i love organic food yeah, made to our natural moist and nutrients recipe with no added sugar, fat, salt, egg, yeast, or dairy. So free from preservatives. So I can't wait to try this one. This, this is the one I'm gonna try after my walk and my my walk and my exercises with Simba. So yeah, I can't wait to try that one. It doesn't look very pretty, but I'm sure it has got all the nutrients we need. So again. We like uh, avocados from MS, but from the same shop we bought, I bought this one. They had avocados because I didn't really know if I was to go to MS. So I got two avocados. I also got, let me show you, uh, raspberries. I love raspberries with my breakfast or with yogurt. So, and I bought pepper for salad. And the avocado, I said I bought two, two avocados from the same shop. And from Holland and Barrett, let me put the camera down. I have coconut, so from Holland and Barrett, I bought coconut. That is for my breakfast. And some chia seeds. I like the idea that they have a smaller packa package for chia seeds. I've got a small one and I've got a bigger one. So this is only 100 grams. So I thought I should get the 100 grams. I love chia seeds, but I haven't eaten chia seeds for a long, long time. So yeah, becoming that girl, I want to feed my body with the best things I can and best to my knowledge so yeah so that's all for breakfast I'm gonna put it away quickly and then go out with she 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 yes you like I said about becoming that girl about your diet and about my diet it's about making those small changes so I love this bread I love this bread because um, it's homeo homeo farmhouse bread but i normally have like a slice it's the same bread i make for my son for his breakfast my husband likes waba chums i don't like this bread i mean it's nice but it's not my favorite so my husband has this bread for his sandwiches or a different he loves white bread there's nothing wrong with white bread actually but i really love this from mns uh, bakery and when i go to mns they have these amazing amazing cinnamon roll and I love pastry I love pasty pastry things so I've been buying four of them I obviously have like half for my snack in the evening so I've been buying four of them but I've bought only one because I can have half today uh, with my tea with my evening cup of tea not the British British tea so with my evening cup of tea I'll have half of that and I'll have half of that tomorrow so I've cut down and it's all about cutting down and my husband likes raisins and my son loves fruit scone um, yeah fruit scone and so my son also loves pretzel that and he also loves tabata bread he, he is obviously not going to be eating all of them to, at, at once those you know processed type of foods and eating whole so apart from that I'm pretty much Apart from that and my coffee with sugar, I think I'm doing very well. But it is to be able to eat, you know, healthier dessert every evening because I love desserts. And yeah, that's all. Let's go for kids. Come here.
Your emotions running wild If you don't calm down, I can't stay Breathe in, breathe out Let me speak now One thing I like about this flexi is massive, it's long I think it's about 8 meters so I can just let her walk in front of me or behind me Um, yeah, makes it quite easier because she can pull sometimes especially when she's hungry and we are walking back home Ooh, it's so nice and peaceful and dark. Look at that. You do not have to walk for hours and hours or half an hour or you don't have to go for a walk. But if, if you like running, you can go running. If you like doing other exercises, weightlifting, I do enjoy weightlifting. Um, yeah, so it's up to you to do... Oops, let's change this up. It's up to you to make those small changes, there's no pressure, but at least if you don't exercise at all, if you can exercise, yeah, for five minutes, start with five minutes, that's enough. Are we going? Yeah, so the other thing I wanted to say is uh, me being a Christian and me growing my faith. I've decided to do things that will increase or build my faith so instead of just walking Simba every evening or whatever time it's not evening actually today is my day off so I'm walking I'm walking her now so the thing I decided to do is on my walk instead of just thinking about any other thing it's more of thinking of things God has done for me and be grateful and pray it's like a gratitude walk I don't know how you call that so yeah, let's do our gratitude walk with Simba. This is something, I haven't done this before. So, this being, this being a new month and sort of a reset month in so many ways, in my fitness journey, in my faith, in my mental health journey. So I think this is the best time to start. And you know, there are a lot of reset goals and reset videos. Don't feel like you have to wait for the whole month to reset. Don't feel like you have to wait for the beginning of the month or beginning of the year. You can reset every day. But make sure once you reset, you, you stick to... Once you reset, you stick. Once you reset yourself, you stick to your goals or make, you know, small goals that are achievable. Do not overload yourself with so many things. And then by the end of the day you're burnt out so like I said it's small small steps make the whole difference again you do not have to have matching stuff I do have matching stuff but this is just to show you that for you to start exercising you do not have to have all matching stuff this is this I bought this one from a charity shop and remember to you know relax and cool and stretch your body afterwards got it just but i don't but here we go again go again 
use that i'm gonna throw my other one away i'm gonna show you the one i have it's not too bad actually in my sons they're not too bad so let's go upstairs like you can see mine is not too bad but it's like opened up and i've had this one for ooh, almost a month or two months so i think it's time we change this how often do you change your scrubby thing i don't know how you call it so yeah i'm gonna change that my sons so i'm gonna change those two to two brand new ones You ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wonder time to go and get my son I'm hungry and I do not have enough time to cook now I normally have my roasted pistachio snack as a snack from m and they are my favorite you can see where they are so I just grab a few and then eat them in the car so yeah that's enough for the car while I wait for my son to come out and then we make lunch after some my first two products of Charlotte um, facial you know magic cream and the facial oil and I am absolutely in love with it oh my face is so smooth my face is so nice so smooth so you know glowy glowy in a nice way just the way I like it also the cream I've put on my body it feels so nice like really nice and smooth the other thing is when I, I'm sitting here I like to write ideas like YouTube ideas and stuff like that I, I just want to deliberately to get closer to God just think of the things he's done for me in my family and be grateful and also pray if I have things disturbing me I just want to sit here like list down what I need I this works for me and I keep it for a long time so I'm gonna be using this time to just reflect on my day or half of my day and how I can do things better my batteries are not lasting as long because I just charged this one this is my t-shirt I got it from Lion King in Germany about eight years ago we went to watch the Lion King show and my battery is flashing guys and it's a bit warm so I'm just gonna let some fresh air in mm. go charge my battery and I'll see you while we make our food or our lunch or our late lunch I 
was chilling with the bros who was up for a night out. Yeah. Saw you in the cut with that wifey demeanor. Hey. Looking so bored out your mind though. You kinda give me the sign, so conversations became relation. No escaping, heart is taken. I've been waiting, I've been patient. Thought you'd been down, heard you skip down, and can't be found. Where are you now, baby? Deep down, I know you've been missing me. But you keep Thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you watched this video to this Don't part, please comment down below. Let me know what are some of the things that you'd like to change in your life. Either to become that girl or to become that Christian girl or to become that woman. Thank you so much. Happy month, happy July, and God bless you. Oh, yeah. Baby, don't fight.